Energy is the essence of my art. As my own energy ebbs and flows, so too does my ability to create it. I'm not talking about being sleepy and taking a nap. I mean energy is a life force, a flow of energy in your overall life that takes days, weeks, and years to travel through and around you. Sometimes you can bring in other energies, things, and people into your life to make change. We all know how it can be to meet a new person who seems to either energize you every time you're together or suck the life right out of you. I'm usually aware of this energy flow and take action, sometimes at a very small scale, to change the energy flow. What's interesting is I don't always know where it's going to take me. I found this old frame years ago. It's a strange size, so no standard painting that I had would fit into it. I knew I'd have to create something new just for this frame, something worthy of the frame. It might seem like a rather plain brown wooden frame, a little old and a little worn, but that's what gives it such beautiful energy. I suspect it was put away in someone's basement or closet, forgotten about before it was finally sent to Goodwill, which is where I found it. I bought it and waited until the energy was right. When I began this painting, all I knew was that I wanted it to fit in the frame. The idea of painting horses stirring up a dust storm came to me while I was handling the frame, running my hands along the rough hewn wood. There's a quiet energy, a strong energy in the frame that could contain the horses and the dust. So I began to paint. But once it was done, I actually rolled up the canvas and put it aside for a few months. The time just wasn't right for fencing in these beautiful horses, so I had to wait. Eventually it was time to stretch and frame the horses, and I'm pleased to say that the energy of grace and the grace of energy is finally finished.